U.S. hospitals in New York as cases for the first time have surpassed 100,000. A lot to get to tonight. We want to start with News 4's Andrew Sitt live at the Javits Center. Andrew, good evening. Well, Natalie, good evening. I'm wearing a facial covering, which is consistent not only with the New York City mayor's recommendation for all New Yorkers, but late today, the CDC recommending voluntary face coverings for all Americans. This, as a critical juncture, comes up for New York. The mayor has been pointing to Sunday, April 5th, in terms of needing personnel and equipment to save patients' lives. Hospitals in New York City just days away from a crisis if up to 3,000 ventilators don't arrive by next week. If we're going to save every single life we can save. We must have the ventilators we need exactly where we need them, when we need them. Governor Cuomo earlier in the day with an executive order to bring bodies stacked up anywhere they can fit. I'm going to say that we should have enough ventilators Pat Marmo's Brooklyn company manages five funeral homes. They can easily handle 60 cases. As of Friday, they have more than 180. I was told that we're not at the peak of this yet, and I can't even imagine what two weeks is like. Coronavirus has killed nearly 3,000 people in New York State. The rapid death toll is overwhelming hospitals, funeral homes, and cemeteries. One cemetery administrator told Ms. Four that she got 100 phone calls in one day. Doctors need extra time to issue death certificates, and it's taking overrun hospital staff more than a week to fix paperwork errors. We're a little overwhelmed, but we will get things done for you. With so many dead, cemeteries all over are forced to make changes. Brooklyn's Archdiocese issued new directives to the Catholic cemeteries it runs. As of Monday, they need to increase staff. Workers will now have staggered shifts, plus the church will now allow burials as early as 8 a.m. I don't have the accommodation to get her right now. Pat Marmo is managing the best he can. He says it's not in his nature to turn people away, but he has no choice. All of this is wearing on him, too. He lost his cousin Friday morning and isn't sure who has space for him either. I definitely understand with my heart what you guys are going through. And I'm, so, I'm sorry that we're all, but we're all in this together and we're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have to battle through this. Eric Byfield, News 4. New York. Well, we know